Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is um, the month of uh, November, love read. <laughs> okay, um, so let's see what is happening for you, Aries. Um, please go and check out the mystical reading because I kind of um, explain to you, Aries, why is it that you guys, because there's less Aries that listen to me and the reason I think is because um, the readings are always with Aries and Aries, Sagittarius and Leos. And why is that is because Aries people, you came here to help the rest of humanities. Without you Aries people, the rest of humanity would not be able to clear their karmas. So... If you listen to my reading, um, most people um, hear about the Aries, but what you don't understand is that Aries, you guys um, have the most important job to do out of all of the other zodiac signs is because uh, um, you Aries are fire sign. You Aries were placed here to help humanity. So whatever that the other signs are going through, you Aries actually help the other sign to clear karma. But a lot of Aries did not understand that and don't understand that. And if you are not told um, why were you born on the certain sign and what happened, then people have like, oh, she doesn't like Aries. I love all the signs. I love all the signs. I don't think there is... Um, someone, people, or situations. I love all the signs. But it's that some, yeah, I think it wasn't explained. You know, you were born on their sign. You're not really sure what you're here to do. But without you, Aries, this planet could not survive. And people on this planet couldn't survive because you are the ones who step in to help people clear their karmas. Okay? I love you, Aries. I have so much my favorite aunties and Aries. Um, I have so much Aries in my life that is just so unbelievable. I love Aries. I can. <laughs> my cousin, I remember when I was um, the day I was leaving the States to come back in August and my cousin is an Aries and she she looks at me and she said, where are you going? And I said, I can't, I can't tell you. I got to get to the air. I got to get to Orlando. I got to get to Orlando. And she, she said, you're going home, aren't you? And, I, and she just started crying. That's my favorite cousin. I mean, she and I, we can, but um, no, I love Aries. I have a, another little niece. A lot, not a little cousin. She has her niece, and they're all Aries. I love Aries people. Um, unbelievable. Okay, so Aries people help. So next time you know you're listening to a reading and you hear over Aries, it's because you guys help the rest of uh, um, the zodiac energies. Okay, so let's see what's coming up for the Aries. That was a little message about Aries. What's coming up for the Aries for the month of November? Gossip. There is some gossip going on, Aries. Could be you or could be people gossiping about your relationship, okay? So there are some gossip going on. There are blockages that is coming up in your relationship. So whatever is happening, people could be putting blockage between you and your relationship. There is a long-distance relationship and there are some blockages going on. So some of you could fall in love with someone long-distance, but... um. There's a lot of gossip that is going on and a lot of blockages that is happening. So be aware of it. We're going to find out who is gossip. There is gossip over money. Whatever is transpiring, there's a whole lot of talk, whole lot of gossip over money. I am seeing past love. Um, you and a past love is being blocked, okay? And we're going to check out to see who um, has placed the block. But you and a past love is blocked, Okay. This is a karmatic situation, long distance relationship. Some of you are having long distance relationship and it's a karmatic situation, okay? I'm seeing 
this energy of uh, um some of you could be in a relationship just holding on because of uh, financial gain that is the reason why you're in this relationship i'm seeing some of you might be dealing with a lawyer or some divorce um this uh, you could also find out that your past love because um your past love is in another relationship that could be also and i'm seeing the wallflower now who are the wallflower and what is transpiring so i'm seeing um past love is playing a significant role it's your weakness some of you are dealing with a past love this past love is in the position of weakness in communication there's a lot of gossip um and what's happening at the present moment there's a lot of controlling you could be controlling other people or other people could be controlling you in the reality um there is someone long distance um that is happening and in the passion if there is no passion going on nothing Nienta, nada nothing is going on okay so what we're seeing here is that we're seeing a lot of gossip about a past love i'm seeing the wallflower energy that is coming up i'm seeing um obstacles uh, obstacles blocking um a financial um thing money and it has to do with legal issues i see karmatic issues is transpiring i'm seeing long distance long distance uh, situation a lot of gossip and control is happening okay so let's look at this gossip and see where this gossip is coming out for you Aries. okay and i got to put my glasses on because these cards are very small whoopsie daisy so where is this gossip is coming from this gossip is uh, yeah communication once you see venus and communication um the Sloten Fardakite, and um, you know, it's a certain group. This is this this is a certain group. There is some gossip. This could be friendship. This could be friends. This could be family. But whatever is going on, it could be you gossiping or speaking about your relationship. But there is a lot of communication, and it has to do. People are either speaking about your relationship, your love life, that sort of a thing. So be aware of what is happening. The obstacles. The sun and Mars. Okay, some turtle cell. Some 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 difficult news to hear from a love person. Difficult news to hear from a love person. Okay, some some unexpected difficult news to hear from a love. So you could be you could like someone, and then they're going to say, you know, that's not how I feel. Neptune, Mercury. A lot of criticism. A lot of criticism is coming from um, people you're in relationship with or um, people outside is criticizing and gossiping over your life and your relationship. And I, you know, and this is what I think personally. It's best never to speak about your relationship. Do you know why? because people have their own opinions even when their relationship is shitty okay so aries learn that let it go don't speak about your relationship all right neptune and venus and mercury is really coming up i'm seeing um a lot of help especially um people who are in relationship i'm seeing a lot of help especially money is going to be coming to you. So Neptune is the unseen world. Venus is love and Mercury is manifesting. So if you wanted to meet someone, um, if you wanted to meet someone, some of you are going to be having a dream and seeing someone in your dream. And then finally, um, this dream is going to become a reality. Okay. So um, this is one of the things. It's as if, some of you are going to be connecting with your um, whoever you're in love with in a dream time. Neptune met Venus again. I said it dream. So a lot of you are going to be dreaming about these past love, past love that is coming in. A lot of you are going to be dreaming about these past love that is coming in. These could be people from past life. You and them could be psychic and you are going to be dreaming about them. You and them could be psychic and you're going to be dreaming about them. 
okay? Then we have the energy, oopsie daisy, you're going to be overcoming a situation. <laughs> karma, thank you. <laughs> oh my God, karma, thank you. Um, karma only, the only days, okay? Sun and Venus is in reversal. This is coming up with a karma. So the sun and Venus is reversed because you're dealing, some of you, with karmatic relationships, okay? So the sun and Venus is reversing. You're definitely dealing with some karmatic relationship. Control. Control is also in the reverse. Uranus and Mars, explosive. So I'm seeing control. You're going to be releasing yourself from this control so if you're in a controlling relationship explosive you're going to be releasing yourself from this control that people have placed on you and in you okay you're going to be releasing yourself from this control from what people have been doing and placing on you the ice queen i'm seeing jupiter in mercury inspiration okay so for the people who behave as if you know <laughs> you know there's love but you're not really open up for it i'm seeing you're going to be inspired jupiter in mercury jupiter is coming up in mercury and i'm seeing you going to be very very inspired you ladies that is very cold close off the love i'm seeing in this um month of november you're going to be very inspired now for the wallflower i'm seeing mercury in mars um spoken word mercury in mars spoken word so you ladies that have cut yourself off to the world and to love and you just you know keep away i'm seeing that this is going to change this is going to change at the end of the month this is going to change because this is mercury in mars spoken word okay so you're going to change this and move out of this negative energy and this negative sequency that you have been in okay and this is going to be good i'm seeing some of you going to be reconnecting with a past love this past love could be um overseas but i'm seeing you reconnecting with this past love okay gossip 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 let's see what these bitches are gossiping over you know people need to find something to do and if it's you stop gossiping over your love life and other people love life okay let it go let it go gossip what is this gossip over okay there we go the gossip is over some of you have found a new love stop telling people your business okay let it go stop telling people your business why you need to tell someone talk to your angels and guides okay then you don't have to hear it back from someone stop gossiping so i'm seeing that um someone either a friend or your friends could have met someone and there is gossip over this person someone is going to get married you all are gossiping over this person and you know people express themselves to you because they want to i'm seeing be careful because if you're planning on getting married there's a lot of people that is gossiping over you and your relationship on your partner so you gotta be careful blockages what is coming up blockages blockages is like the same thing so some of you could be in a relationship with a pisces cancer or a scorpio i'm seeing this person carrying a lot of burdens and it is legal burdens okay i'm seeing this person carrying a lot of burdens and it is legal burdens okay whatever this person has gotten themselves in i'm seeing them carrying a lot of burdens and it's legal burdens um some of you could have blocked this person or this person is being blocked but whatever is happening i'm seeing this person communicating with a sagittarius dealing with some um, 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 uh, legal issues and I think that that's what blocking you and this person because they're focusing on dealing with some legal issues okay um so if you're in a relationship and you're dealing with uh, um this 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 person 
could have been a Casanova. This person is bringing, but they, the blocks are created because they're dealing with legal issues. So you could be seeing someone, whether married or whatever, and they are dealing with some legal issue. They may be divorcing a Sagittarius and dealing with some legal issue, or they might be divorcing um, and a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius and dealing with some legal issues. And that is the reason. Now I'm seeing long distance relationship and uh, some of you are standing your grounds um, some of you are disappointed in a long distance relationship and you are saying it. So uh, whatever is transpiring in your life and in your world, what is happening is that you're standing your grounds. You're standing your ground. Some of you are standing your grounds and speaking your truth. You have some disappointment because some of you could have found out something. And some of you who have long distance relationships could have cut through the BS and found out that your partner has not been very honest. Okay. So long distance relationship can mean in another city, that sort of a thing. But what is happening and transpiring is that you cut through the BS and realizing that your partner has not been very honest and you're seeing the truth. So if you're in a long distance relationship, you're going to be finding out because cutting through you know, just listening to what the person is saying and how the person is reacting, you're going to know that something is not right, okay? So, that's it. Now, money, 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 okay? Some of you are definitely going to be meeting um, someone who is very financial stable. And this person might just ask you to get married some of you were really really looking for um a rich person someone who is financial stable and you could be meeting this person it says a capricorn so some of you are going to be meeting a capricorn who is financial stable and you are definitely wants uh, to be in a relationship with this person because i'm seeing news coming Either you are sending news to this person or, um, uh, but whatever is here is that it is a Capricorn. It is someone who, um, you wanted to be with and finally your wishes and dreams is going to come true. But this person is financial stable. So you, I think you know that this person is financial stable and that's why you wanted to be with this person. So I'm seeing whoever that was looking for a rich person, your wishes and dreams is going to come true because you're going to be meeting someone who is a Capricorn who is really financial stable. Past love is coming in. The past love that is coming in. I'm, 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 some of you could have been in a relationship. Some of you were seeing someone in the past and they're still spying on you okay so you gotta be careful they're still spying on you they're still watching you to see what you're doing um i'm seeing they're watching your media that sort of a thing um your telephone that sort of a thing so you gotta be aware of what is happening and what is transpiring so some spying is being um and it's a spine of past love so this sort of a thing could be happening okay so let's look and see what is happening and transpiring i'm seeing some of you are going to be uh, some of you are spying on an older woman this person is a virgo a whole of virgo some of you are spying uh, spying on an older virgo some of you an older virgo was a past love okay some of you an older virgo was a past love and whatever is this, I'm seeing you trying to spy on this Virgo, but um, you got to be aware, Em, because this woman know exactly what you're doing. So you could be in a relationship. No, definitely whoever is in relationship with an older Virgo or had an older Virgo. Now, uh, whew. okay, some of you, a Virgo is going to be returning or you want to return to an older Virgo. Virgo. So people 45 years and older and older Virgo, whoever this person situation is, I'm seeing some of you dealing with a third party situation 
where there is an Aquarian that is on your neck so whatever is transpiring there there is some relationship because someone could have um, moved on to an Aquarian and you're still spying on the person so whatever is going on there um, is, is past love so some of you could want to return to a Leo some of you could want to return to an Aquarius. Some of you could want to um, return to a Virgo. Okay, so these past love could be coming in your life or you want to return to them. Alrighty, so some karma shit is going on here, ladies and gentlemen. Wheel of Fortune is here. So a lot of karmatic relationship is being outworked. So if you were in... Um, a relationship a karmatic relationship the wheel of fortune is bringing this back and what we have here is holy days are in reverse so it's karma it is karma that is happening all the days are in reverse it's karma what is happening okay it is also the energy of the karma card so a lot of you Aries are in karma relationship and this is what I was explaining is that Aries, you help the rest of the people to clear their karmas. And this is why you are always um, ending up in people, other people's reading, because you help them to clear the karmas. But a lot of Aries is not aware of that. Now, all the days is in the reverse. Sun is in Venus. It's in reverse because it's a karmatic relationship that you're dealing with. Okay. So this is a relationship that comes back from a past life for you to deal with it could be with a leo or an aquarius or a capricorn so some of you have and is in a karmatic relationship with a leo or a capricorn okay so some of you are working out some karmatic issues and you're in a relationship with a Leo or a Capricorn, okay? It can be a Sagittarius also. Sagittarius with Leo or an Ophiosis could also be there, okay? So that is the karmatic issue and relationship. So as we look at control, what is going on for control? What is going on for control? So some of you... um or in a controlling relationship which is going to be ending and the person and situation you're dealing with is a Gemini a Gemini and a an Aquarian okay so a Gemini and Aquarian some of you are in some controlling relationship with a Gemini or an Aquarian now this is definitely going to be released you're going to be released out of this controlling relationship some of you could find out that a gemini and aquarian has put some control which by using negative energy love magic or whatever it is going to be broken so if you use love magic to control a gemini or control anyone for a matter of fact this love magic is going to be broken in the month of november you should not do love magic people do love magic to control other people and hold other people to if someone was not meant for you it was not meant for you and whoever did a love magic to pull someone in your life it never ends very good okay all righty now let's see what's happening let us see what's happening so some of you ladies that is very cold to love jupiter and mercury you're going to be inspired in this month so some of you uh, men or women that is very co um, close to love you're going to be inspired because you're not really celebrating anything but i'm seeing that your heart is being warmed by this night of um Pentacles, whoever this Knight of Pentacles is, your heart is being warmed by this person, or this person heart is being warmed by you. This is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay, so whatever is transpiring, I'm seeing that um you have been cold and you have been closed off in love for a very long time no success with love and all of a sudden this man walks in your life uh, taurus virgo or capricorn and there you are in this month and this is going to be good 
so as we move forward we have the energy of the wall flower that is the last energy that is here in november for you guys the energy of the wall flower what we have we have the fool we have some of you walking away from family issues and situation closing yourself off divorce had happened you sit as a wallflower now this is going to be over because you are going to be reconnecting okay so what is transpired basically you you know you just kept yourself and you're going to change that it's as if all right i've been in this position without the relationship and that oh yeah i'm getting over just love thing i'm going back out there and i'm gonna look and i see you want to have a new start with someone this could be someone from a past life that is going to be returning in your life and you're going to be wakened up by love okay some unexpected some unexpected situation that is going to be happening with the family some unexpected unusual thing you're going to go to a party you're going to meet them the um the love of your life because someone from a past life that you have signed a contract with is going to be returning in your life and this person is going to spend the rest of their time in your life because they found out and they understand what exactly was happening and transpiring so you know this is good this is wonderful because um some unexpected situation is happening and all of a sudden you're going to be getting out of that um low vibration and energies um because you felt being betrayed um from a past relationship you you felt really being betrayed and now you're getting out of the slump and you're finding yourself again and go get it because life is about to start for you so wow um aries what a month with love for you guys but it's a beautiful month i'm seeing new love that is coming in because i'm seeing some of you who were in controlling relationship that you're breaking that control and you're moving forward and you're bringing in positive alum alignment of energy and this is going to be good because what you're doing is just moving forward in a very very positive way so this is really positive because what is happening and transpiring is that you're basically changing the way that things are around you and this is really wonderful so um love is going to be different and remember um aries that i am um this is going to be a wonderful month and uh, um i love you love you guys so please share this reading it's very important put on your notification button go check out the mystical reading that's for the fire sign mystical reading for the fire sign aries leo and sagittarius go check it out it's good um check out your monthly reading and i love you guys share 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 namaste